So my last couple of videos have been about my full transition over from Windows to Linux. That included my main gaming and work PC and my arcade cabinet. The idea behind it was this channel is about open source hardware and software, so I want to practice what I preach and use an open source operating system on my main computer. And of course, document the process. And I feel like those videos may give the wrong idea to some beginners. The idea that you should just blow away your Windows install and go all in on Linux. You either pick one or the other. And that's not always the best solution. And what I'm saying is not everybody needs to use Linux the same way to get benefits from it. You may not be a YouTuber that decided to blow away your Windows install to force yourself to use Linux more. You may just want to play around with it every once in a while, maybe use it as a dedicated server to run some specific apps on. It's all about what you want to get out of it. So I made a little list about all the different ways you could install Linux without having to blow away your current OS. First option being dual booting. If you don't know what dual booting is, you'll basically take a partition. So you'll take a chunk of that free space that you have on your hard drive and you'll partition that for another operating system to be installed on it. And then you'll basically install Linux on that other chunk that you reserved for the other operating system. When you boot your machine up, you'll have the option to either boot from Windows or you have the option to boot from Linux. You can't really seamlessly switch between the two in this way. You kind of boot the machine up to either or. But you do get the full benefits of having a full Linux system. It's just like having it on its own hard drive. It's just kind of sharing space with the existing operating system on that same hard drive. So of course, another negative of dual booting is that you'll have that separate partition that you know can't share space with the other partition for your other operating system. It kind of splits your drive in half almost. Another method is just getting a whole other computer to use Linux on, like a Raspberry Pi or something. That way it's a low cost option that you can install Linux on it. You don't have to worry about ruining your main computer. You can kind of just use it in an isolated environment. Another option is virtual machines. You can always make a virtual machine in your existing operating system like Mac OS or Windows and make a virtual machine of your favorite Linux distribution or a Linux distribution that you just want to try out. That's how a lot of people actually test different Linux distros. They don't blow away their hard drive and just keep testing all these different versions of Linux. They usually open a virtual machine, kind of try it out, see if they like it. If they don't, they'll just kind of, you know, throw it away. Another method of installing Linux is actually not installing it at all. You can actually run Linux straight from a flash drive without ever installing it on one of the main drives on your PC. Some people call this a live USB. The benefit is you don't have to use any additional storage from your main drives and you can get some of the benefits of using a Linux distro. The negative is you don't get all the same benefits of installing it on bare metal. So it will be a little bit limited compared to doing a full install on a hard drive. Another way to use Linux is making your own home server. If you didn't know already, Linux is the most popular server operating system. So making your own little home server out of just an old PC or an old laptop can get you into and learning a lot about Linux really fast. Another method without using any of your hardware at all is cloud services. Plenty of people use cloud services. There are usually fees involved with them, but it is pretty much a hands-off method where you don't have to maintain any hardware at all. You can kind of just log into your portal and get into your Linux distro anytime you want, as long as you got an internet connection, of course. Now this next method is for Windows users only, no Mac, and it's using Windows subsystem for Linux. Once it's installed, it allows you to install Linux distros directly from the Microsoft Store. So it's almost like dual booting and a virtual machine kind of tied into one, so it ends up being a little bit more of a user-friendly version of a virtual machine. This list was to just get you thinking about different ways to use Linux if you're, you know, a little bit more intimidated on jumping in, you know, head first. You can use Linux the way you want to use it, basically. If you got any questions, of course, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Peace.